Husband, 30 male, won't let me, 30 female, sleep. Uh, whoa. <laughs> That's got to be some sort of torture, right? Uh, yeah. As someone who needs a lot of sleep, uh, I would say so. How, mm. how does one not allow? I wonder if they're a really loud snore. But the theme is bad partner, so I can't imagine it's something as innocent as snoring. <laughs> True. Uh, Maybe it's the like the one where they woke them up at two a.m. to make shrimp, make them a sandwich, to or make- uh, what is that? Coconut shrimp <laughs> or coconut whatever. Coconut shrimp, shrimp. Yeah. Oh my! That shit is God. wild, dude. What if they're um, a couple that streams together and they did a twenty-four hour stream, and you're like, you can't sleep. We're gonna lose viewers. And they did some stupid. 24 hour streamers sleep, I'm pretty sure. Do they? I, I feel like I've seen Kai Sanat and Kevin Hart sleep on like yeah. I've never mattresses. seen a 24 hour stream. I've never seen this. But ever since Kevin Hart went on Kai Sanat's thing, they pop up on my TikTok now. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I've seen like clips of live streamers uh, like doing the 24 hour stream or whatever. And yeah, they definitely sleep. Uh, so did they just get what did people just watch them sleep the whole time? Some people do. That's yeah. a good question. Hey, that's wild. As in it's like a, shit on the like, internet. It's like a long term <laughs> relationship. I used to yeah. have a girlfriend mm. before <laughs> Nancy before we were married. You just FaceTime the whole time. I, yeah, I, I tried. I mean, that. before I'm like, that, I'm, fucking, I'm hanging up. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't want to see the shit. What was it? No, not FaceTime. What was it on the computer? Like uh, Skype. Yeah, oh, the, Skype the Mac- or Uvu. Oh, Skype. Uvu. Like the MacBook. Yeah. What the fuck is Uvu? <laughs> That's how old I am. Shout out okay. Uvu. Josh, don't know. A thing I've never about heard that. of that. <laughs> Maybe it was American only. No, it's probably just old as fuck. Maybe. Never I, on. I Move know. on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have insomnia problems during the summer because of how bright it is early in the morning. Usually I can go to sleep around 10, but I'll be wide awake at three or four, and then we'll be exhausted the entire day. I've started taking melatonin to sleep and it has worked wonders. However, on melatonin, I have to have a full 10 hours of sleep. Anything under 10 hours leaves me groggy and gives me headaches. I can usually do this since I go to sleep at 10 and need to wake up at eight. The problem, my husband wakes up for work at six. He has gotten to the habit of waking me up every morning to cuddle. Usually it is actually cuddling, but more often than not, he paws me for other things. Because it's so bright outside in the morning now, I'm not able to go back to sleep after he leaves. Because I am taking melatonin, melatonin, I'm usually pretty useless for the rest of the day. I am the primary breadwinner, and all of this is taking a serious toll on the quality of my work. I brought it up a couple months ago, and he said he would stop. Then I realized he was turning up the volume on his alarm. I'm letting it play for a while so that the alarm woke me up, not him. I'd fight. <laughs> Separate beds. So would I. You're in the guest bedroom. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but since I was awake, we would always cuddle before he left for work. How do other people manage waking up routines? Am I out of line to tell him to stop waking me up in the morning? And if he can't, I'm going to have to move to the guest room. You're going to have to? I don't think. You- <laughs> they got to move to As the primary <laughs> breadwinner, I would say you should probably take the... Uh, oh. But yeah, that's the story. So is, is she at a line asking him to stop waking her up in the morning? No, absolutely not. Oh. Sleep is one of the most important things for people. You know, food and water, part of it too. As someone who had like bad sleep, one, I have, I have insomnia, I have sleep apnea. I got all the works, baby. That shit is not nice falling asleep sometimes. Uh, or it's hard to fall asleep sometimes. And, and when you get your sleep disrupted, like you, the rest of your day sucks. You're either restless um, you have no energy, like your mind is just going either blank or dot exe not working anymore. Uh, if you want this relationship to sustain and you got to tell them like, hey, don't wake me up. Sleep is really important to me. Maybe compromise later on and say like, hey, maybe before we go to bed, let's do more of like the cuddling time there. And then we can be all affectionate with each other. So that way I can still get my full eight to 10 hours of sleep. And then you can go to work personally for me. I cannot leave like the house without saying bye to my wife and she's vice versa as well. Have that conversation and say like, Hey, what can, what can we do to like do this without really disturbing my sleep? But the only compromise that I can think of is do it before you actually, or, you know, you do it like the bed or the night before. So that way you can have your eight hours of sleep. I, I agree with that. I think if you've made it clear that you need to sleep until eight o'clock, he should mm-hmm. respect that. Uh, just Absolutely. as your partner, no matter like, 
uh, if you like, if, if he has to work or whatever he has, he's getting up for. Yeah. He should respect that. That's something that you need to be functional during the day. Uh, and that's something that you need to lay down the line and say, either you you're sleeping somewhere else or you're turning your alarm down and shutting the fuck up in the morning. Uh, because that's like, yeah, I, I mean, I think you, you said at the beginning of the title, uh, it feels like torture. Cause like she's not able to function mentally or like Dude, physically throughout the day. And that's taxing. lack of sleep is so dangerous. Yeah. Like, you know, driving anywhere and you just that momentary lapse of like, Oh fuck, you fell asleep. Well, let's say you're driving down the freeway and you just forget that you're driving this whole time and you fall asleep behind the wheel. You could not only affect your life, but you could also affect other people's lives too. A hundred percent. That shit has happened to me. I was like doing my dance life shit. And then I was working like two jobs and then the uh and then I was still like I was when I was still going to like church every weekend too. So like on a Sunday on my way to church, I hit a red light and then I just next thing I know someone's knocking on my window. I was like, oh fuck. Oh Jesus. It caused God a huge damn. traffic thing. It was bad. Oh no. Holy <laughs> shit. I've never been more embarrassed. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I mean that's a great example of what uh like could happen. I mean, thank God you read a stop sign. Uh, they got my foot stayed on the fucking brake. Yeah. For real. Yeah. It's fucking insane. That's insane. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been there where you're super tired and driving and just like like cold like AC blasting just so you're not falling asleep. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good for sure. No, absolutely not. Uh, writing Giraffe actually commented on the post and said, if anyone should be sleeping in the guest room, it would be him. That's what I was saying. Sh- but I'm sure he'd be busting into the bedroom at 6 a.m. with some excuse like getting his clothes or slam the cupboards in the kitchen in an attempt to wake her up. And I mean, yeah, that's like he's already doing like pretty manipulative shit with the alarm. Yeah, I was going to say, let's flame this motherfucker for turning up his alarm clock just yeah. to wake her up. Oh, did I wake you? Bitch, you know what you were doing. <laughs> that's foul. Yeah, that's that's awful. Like. I would have threw the goddamn alarm and chucked it in his face and be like, you turn this off. So manipulative. It's bullshit. Um, C. Ms. Gore Mud 5386 said, you've told the asshole you're married to that this wrecks your day. The day in which you do the work is uh, the primary breadwinner and his response is to do something different to ruin your sleep, mostly in the interest of pawing you for sex. Do you want to mm-hmm. live with the, this selfish creep? And I think, yeah, it's to get sex, which is very disturbing. It's one thing to be like, like kiss good, good morning and like say goodbye yeah. or whatever. Like that's one thing. Yeah. Um, and I mean, even if that woke you up and you didn't want that, you can draw that line for sure. Yeah. You could write uh, a little note or some shit. Yeah, exactly. Or a text in the morning or a phone call after you, you wake up or something like that. There's, there's other ways to go about that, but this is like, just like for sex. <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. that can wait until the end of the day, motherfucker. Uh, when your uh, wife is well rested uh, and and is able to work throughout the day, my guy, help her sleep at night if you know what I mean. Get therapy.